Hi guys, hope you're all doing great. Just coming back at you with another five minute workout you could do at home. Uh, this workout's gonna focus on upper body and core. Uh, we're gonna be working for 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy. So our first exercise we're gonna be doing is push-ups. Uh, quite a simple exercise. I think we've done it before in one of the previous videos. So hopefully you guys should all know the correct technique and form. Uh, it's just a simple press up from a 90 degree angle at the elbows. So just start the movement really nice and slow, ease into it as you go down and just go at your own pace. By this point, you should be feeling a burn in your arms or in your chest. Uh, just remember, keep going, you're almost finished. Exercise number two is Russian twists. You can use any ball or object of your choice. I used a football. Uh, so for this exercise, just elevate your feet off the ground and then move the ball from either side of your body. So for this exercise, a few tips. Uh, just maintain a nice tight core. Uh, you should control the movement of the ball and keep your feet elevated at all times. So for this exercise, you're going to be doing bicycle kicks. Uh, it's quite simple, but it looks complicated. Uh, basically, you want to imagine that you're cycling, but in a horizontal way. So just move your legs in a circular motion as if you were pedaling a bike. So by this point, I definitely started to feel a burn in my core. So uh, if you do, just remember, keep going. Maybe slow down the movement, make it more controlled. Exercise four is gonna be a plank. I think we did this in our last video. Uh, very simple, you just need to maintain a straight back and just breathe at all times. You should be getting a little bit of a burn in your core. Just remember, get through it. You're almost done. Just push through. Uh, so for this exercise, um, we're going to be doing cycling crunches, very similar to the bicycle kick, apart from the fact that you have to meet your elbow and your knee. So you really need to push for that elbow and knee contact to really uh, gain the full benefit of the exercise and that nice core contraction, so make sure to do so.
we're entering the final few seconds of the workout. Just keep it going, keep it up. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this workout and I'll see you next time.